What, what do you have in your hair, Irma? A doggy poop bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it is September 1st. It's hurricane season. Hurricane Harvey's threat now spreading to Louisiana and Tennessee. Yep, and as Texas struggles to recover from the catastrophic flooding it's experiencing right now, a new storm is rapidly gaining strength over the Atlantic. Is this a misprint of the teleprompter? No. Hurricane Irma now upgraded to a Category 3. Wow. Meteorologist Janice Dean is live in studio tracking its path. I'm convinced she never sleeps. Janice, good morning. <laughs> We're going to be watching uh, several storms in the next uh, week or so. This is what's left of Harvey. I just want to make mention we had several reports of tornadoes, a damaging one in Tuscaloosa yesterday. Now we're going to see the remnants move across the Ohio River Valley and the Mid-Atlantic, the Northeast. Upwards of four to six inches still possible with this system, and we're unfortunately going to see a part of Harvey as we get into the long weekend for the Northeast. Hurricane Irma, all eyes on Irma and will be for the next several days. Uh, it has the potential to become one of the strongest storms we have seen. I think we could actually be up to a Cat 5 in the next five days. Not saying it'll make landfall as a Cat 5, but you know, strengthening to that would be pretty amazing. Here's the steering pattern. We've got the Bermuda High out here. If this high remains strong, then the path is going to move more westward. If the high breaks down, then we're going to see a curve and the east coast could be impacted. So those are the steering currents we're going to watch. Here's the European model. This one is, has been very good, very reliable. Heading through Tuesday, 
watching the Lesser Antilles, certainly Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, and the Bahamas. But looks like this curves and comes very close to the southeast coast. And if I could, real quick, I just want to show you the GFS. The GFS is now in agreement that we think the east coast could be impacted, more likely perhaps than Florida or the Gulf of Mexico. This one brings it very close to the mid-Atlantic on Sunday. So I'm not saying that this is the outcome. I am just saying be prepared. Don't want to scare be prepared. East Coast, Florida, Gulf Coast, and then we have another one behind this one coming off the coast of Africa right now that will be a hurricane. Wow. Wow. Another yep. one. The good thing is, though, you have September 10th upon the graphic, which means we have 10 days to prepare for Absolutely. the Absolutely. That's a very good point, Ainsley. We have time to prepare people. Okay. And you don't want it to hit anywhere, but the previous projections had shown it going into the Gulf, potentially the same we, spot. Listen, so we still. A little bit of good news there. We, a week out, we don't have enough confidence. All I want people to do is know what to do if you have a hurricane on sure. your doorstep. Right. I'm for leaving it in the ocean. I would prefer that. I prefer big waves. But here's the latest NHC output here, showing it at a Category 2 and remaining at Category 2 for the next 12 hours or so. I would not doubt, though, if it goes right back up to a Category 3 by this evening. And then as it goes into the weekend and beyond, it heads towards the Leeward Islands before taking more of a northerly and then northwesterly trend, possibly north of San Juan. Anywhere out from there, very, very uncertain. Models can pretty much go anywhere. All right, let's talk about the satellite imagery now. You see in the last couple runs, you had the eye wall to start, and then it sort of disappears. This is something that usually happens in very intense hurricanes. It's called an eye wall replacement cycle. And you can see in the last few frames, it reemerges. So that's why I actually think that it's going to start re-strengthening again. And you also notice the general size of the storm has also increased over the last couple of hours as it moves on off towards uh, the west. Here's how it looks in terms of how far it is from us. Still very far, 2,400 miles over that, away from Norfolk and Hampton Road. So it's moving at 10 miles an hour, way, way out in the future. Right <laughs> what, what do you have in your hair, Irma? A doggy poop bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
What, what do you have in your hair, Irma? A doggy poop bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank <laughs> you. 